Uh, this is Paul. Yeah. Yeah, I was reading this law dictionary. Yeah. Uh, they have what's called presume to believe to accept as true even before conclusive evidence has been presented to assume something is is uh, true even though there's no evidence. <laughs> Then they have what's called the president, the chief executive officer of the United States, a presiding or managing officer of a legislative body or business, organization, committee, etc. Yeah. You know, I've, uh, I've been having some problems getting my constitutional rights. <laughs> and... Uh, it seemed like the court had presumed that everything that Heidi was saying in those written statements was true. Poop. Now, just because a guy gets arrested doesn't mean that he's guilty of any crime. Now, when my wife had me arrested on Guam because she made up a story that I'd committed domestic violence, committed child abuse, uh, it seemed that the court presumed that everything that she said was the truth and they issued a protection order without protecting my right to due process. <laughs> now let's say I was to tell a judge that I'm actually a president. I'm a president of a virtual nation called Timbuktu. Now, if you think back five or six years ago during the virtualization of the nation, you might have had some virtual doll hers or doll ors. <laughs> there was somebody that thought we were going to go through a, a transition into a virtualized banking system where you could get paid in, in doll hers <laughs> or doll ors. Now, it started off as kind of a a virtualized game where they release static every morning and every evening. Yes, yes, yes. Then, oh, which way are we going? Pooch. <laughs> you got a me sewn on your genitals. And you played a little Simon Says. <laughs> Next thing you know, it's card, please. Stick it in your ass. There was a game called Kill the President. <laughs> and I, I found out that uh, they had virtualized and quite a few American citizens and had gotten people to believe that they should trade in their dollars for dollars. <laughs> now I had heard someplace that in Squim there were actual police officers that were taking their real salaries and converting them into virtualized currency. <laughs> What they didn't know is I am the president of Timbuktu. <laughs> now, I named my virtual nation after Timothy Geithner, oh, <laughs> the United States dollar, ooch, buck, and two. <laughs> See, when I was on Guam, I was really interceding. We were living at the Timuning Plaza. <laughs> and uh, I was at, uh, I think, it was Life Center or was Life Center on Guam and I had asked for a place to go and pray because I was having some well some difficulty <laughs> and as I was praying out of my mouth uh, good to see you this morning <laughs> I said the words let them know where you go let them know where you go <laughs> Now, it seemed like the United States Navy or maybe the Air Force had, had taken control of what I would say. And oftentimes I would repeat what I was saying as if the military could actually hear what I was saying while I lived on Guam. Even though there was no microphones around me. It's almost like they had sewn into me when we went to that island territory. <laughs> well, when I said, let them know where you go, <laughs> I let everybody know. <laughs> I didn't go anywhere without telling somebody where I was going. I thought, well, if they want to know where I'm going, I'll let them all know. <laughs> Since I didn't know who was listening to what I was saying, my thought pattern was, well, I'll let them all know. <laughs> now, when you let them know where you go... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>